go back to like when I met you, um, I had actually uh, had a problem where I had severe pain all over my body for a very, very long time. And just like most of your patients, I went from specialist to specialist and did a lot of tests and didn't find any answer. And finally, I started reading Dr. Andrew Vail's book, and that's when I saw the reference to Dr. Fulford. And I was so amazed uh, when I learned that that you have had some sort of an independent training or even met Dr. Fulford. That is amazing. So can you talk a little bit about what he imparted to you and how did that sure. help you with your, you know, with osteopathy? In my sophomore year of medical school, one of my um, mentors in manipulation um, invited me out to go to, to go to a conference where Dr. Fulford was speaking. And I was learning manipulation and I liked it. It's part of the osteopathic program. But um, I still had my sights set on something else. And he said, you need to meet this guy. He's really the best that our profession has in this field of manipulation, or I hate to use the word healing because it brings up other connotations, but, you know, he's a healer. And um, I went, it was out in, um, somewhere in Texas, it was Dallas-Fort Worth, it was a, a meeting, our annual meeting, and I saw this guy do things that you couldn't explain to me, not in a physical sense. I saw him work on someone that I knew that wasn't a setup in the audience. You know, I've seen things where I, I can question it, whether this is real. I watched someone with a knee problem, with a twisted knee, friend of mine, with a knee twist, and I watched Dr. Fulford only touch the guy's stomach, and then we evaluated his knee before, and we evaluated the twist after, and all he put his hands on was his stomach, and he gave all these energetic reasons and fascial reasons for it, and I didn't understand it at the time, and I, I, uh, I went back to my hotel room after that, and I said, this is what I'm going to do. Whatever he's doing, I want to learn how to do that. I'm not one of the people who can claim that I spent, you know, months and months of time with him. That's not me. But he was my inspiration. I saw him at our, our national meetings. I was in small audiences when he spoke. And he inspired me that there was a lot more than what I thought there was to osteopathy. So I heard him speak on a number of occasions, but I don't want to claim I was a student of his. I would rather claim that I was um, one person that he helped set on the road. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean... I, I, I read about Dr. Fulford, and that's when I started my journey towards osteopathy, and in that course, I met you. So if I hadn't read that book and, you know, learned about Dr. Fulford, I wouldn't know anything about osteopathy. And so it's like, it's it, I owe a lot to Dr. Fulford, too, even though I haven't met him, met him at all. He was a magic man, and he was a well-studied man. As I said, I, I came into medicine very practical. You can't explain anything about hands-on healing and things like that, because I, I wasn't ready to hear things like that. Um, I'm very pragmatic. And Dr. Fulford was not somebody who, who didn't understand the body, who couldn't talk to you about anatomy and physiology. I've met some people make some um, very large claims, and then I have to question, you know, what do they really know, or what is their real dedication? He was a dedicated man. He was not full of himself. He, uh, he wanted to help people. Uh, so I would say he was a magical man. I, I didn't. I didn't tend to idolize people.